learning tutorials on how to dance with the only master, E-Man, Mr. C. Ooh. Look at the footwork. Hey! <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Hey, look at that shoulder flick. <laughs> Thank you for that quick tutorial. <laughs> You're welcome, brother. It's always a pleasure, man. Always. <laughs> Now nah, today we learn. Today we learn. <laughs> we had a little celebration last time and <laughs> we left a bit of a mess. So time to clean up. I decided that while I rest, I'm gonna pick up the rest of the things. And then when I fully rest it, I'm gonna go back and do some more pull-ups. I believe that I found a new formula that's actually gonna work for me. So work out and then do chores while resting. Well, I guess that's my active recovery from now on. Yeah, I like this. All right, so let's continue the rest of the day. I've been working on this rooftop that's called Sunset and I've been trying to manage to get some clients for them and things have been moving. You know, people are coming, you know, it's real marketing, organic. And uh, yeah, thank God that's moving and you know, I've been doing content for Mr. Debayori. I've been helping him shift his content. I've been doing a lot of videos. For that, for the foundation, for the aids that he's doing. It's been interesting because, you know, I also never thought I'd be on this end of the world. Going from a ex-athlete and rapper to a content media manager and all that. So, uh, honestly, it's interesting. Here we go, we got the white ones. And we got another one here in the second room. So yeah, we're just trying to make it work. Motion detector. The mayor and I had a conversation about myself and he was telling me, it's good that I'm actually trying to do my best, trying to hustle in all aspects, I'm, I'm rushing the results. And he told me that I should be patient, that the good things come to those who are patient. To me, honestly, it didn't make sense to me. I'll tell you that I was being stubborn like I am. The stubbornness got me this far in life, right? But I guess now it's time for me to just calm down and try to use that advice. Because true, I really do things the way I want to do it, the way I think is right. But I told myself, what's it gonna take if I just become a bit more patient? I'm just gonna do my thing get better at what I'm doing and eventually things will come to me. To people, you know, I'm not rushing anything, I'm not doing anything crazy. And especially when it comes to my career, the path that I'm taking, I am in a situation where I don't really have control over everything and I'm just trying to manage all the opportunities that come my way. So this right here is teaching me how to become patient and I believe this is something that anybody in the world needs, patience. And I won't lie, but I feel like it's working. Patience is really key. It's really a good virtue. And I believe that good things can come with patience. Because when you're patient, you're able to see things without bumping into anyone. With patience, you're able to have a clear set of goals without having to rush things and then losing sight of what you're doing. But I just want to wish you a lot of patience, a lot of love, success, and I'll see you guys next week. Again, I got 1% better this time.